Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Scarlett with Scarlett's Little Crafty Corner. And today I have got a little haul of items that I have received this week. Um, one was a win. The others were um, purchases I made. And I just wanted to open them and I thought I would just share them with y'all. So... Let's see. You know what? Let's do the big one first because this one is a winning. Um, and all of y'all probably know who I'm talking about when I say Diana. Um, it is Diana Loves Colors. I will leave links to everybody that I'm fixing to open up. I will leave a link to everything in my description box. But... This is from Diana Loves Colors, and I was watching one of her videos, and she had a giveaway in one of her videos, and I have done, I don't know how many giveaways for her, and I never win one, <laughs> but I finally won one of her giveaways, and I, I can't remember, Diana, I am so sorry, but I can't remember what the winning was for. I think it was just a random hidden giveaway I think if I'm wrong please correct me but I just got this in the mail um so let's open this up and take a look now I know what I won because she gave me and I forgot who the other person was there was two winners there was me I was the first winner and then there was somebody else that was the second winner, and I'm so sorry I can't remember who the second person was. Um, but being as I won first, she gave me the choice of two diamond paintings out of four. So the ones I chose, um, oh wow, she said she was going to send me some goodies. So let's see what she sent me. So. I am going to put the goodies aside for just a second, and we are going to look at the two diamond paintings that I actually won and picked out. So, the first one was the Little Witch, and I don't remember where she said she got these. Um... I don't know if it was Amazon or one of the budget friendly, but I really like this. I thought it was really cute. Um, and you could just, you could throw some ABs in there. It's got 25 colors and, um, I, I don't know what is, if, if there's something in the package or if it's just your home smells like cinnamon but it smells good, whatever it is. But here are the drills. And this is what it's going to look like. So I'm not going to go through unboxing and, or doing a, an unbagging, I guess you would say, of these. Because she already did that on her channel. And I will leave a link to her website, or website, to her channel. And y'all can go look if you want. And then, of course, you know, I had to get the gnomes, y'all. I am just absolutely gnome crazy. I love them. I love gnomes. Between gnomes and Boston Terrier stuff, my house is just ridiculous looking right now. So, this was the other one that I picked. And then the second winner got the other two. And I honestly don't remember what those were. But these are the two that I liked. Was the witch and the gnome. When she unbagged the witch, I liked it before I even knew that there was going to be a giveaway. So, that was the two diamond paintings that I won. And then she was going to put some goodies in here. And y'all, look at those. Isn't that pretty? And I love the fall colors. I love fall leaves. And, you know, I have my tattoo. And they are two maple leaves. 
because that's what I was named after was a scarlet maple. But those are so pretty. And then, Diana, did you make this? This is so pretty. Look at this. Life is good. And then it's got a little dangle. Oh, nope, she didn't. But I bet she could. But that is so pretty. Thank you, Diana. I love it. Oh, here's a card. Let me open the card. I didn't even see the card. Or I would have opened that first. Now, I bet you $5 she made the card. She's so good with paper. Look at that. Those flip-flops. And she's got two little buttons right there. Isn't that pretty? Oh, MG. Okay, hold on. Oh. All right, let me read her card and make sure there's nothing in here. Um, it just says, Hi, Scarlett. Congratulations. And thank you, my friend, for entering my giveaway. You know, I always appreciate your kind comments and support. I made you an ATC card and put some extra goodies in here for you. Love your your friend, XOXO, Diana. Isn't that pretty? Y'all, she knows. She knows I love the gorgeous girls. Aren't they gorgeous? Love them. And these are playing cards. Diana, you have got to let me know where you got all of this stuff. Because I've seen you unbag, or not you, but I've seen where you've sent other people's stuff. And you've got all of this stuff of the gorgeous girls in there and oh i want to know where you got it all right so here is the atc card that she made for me that is so pretty look this is an owl and then she's got this little flower and the leaves and then it looks like an embossed leaf right there I hope y'all can see this. I'm sure my... Ooh, wait a minute. Okay, so she's just letting me know on the back what she... You know, some of her favorite things, which is good to know. But isn't that gorgeous? She's so talented when it comes to paper. I would never have thought you could do so many things with paper. But she does. She is awesome. Between her and Sylvia... Sylvia's cards and Diana's ATC cards, y'all. I just, they're gorgeous. But thank you, Diana. I love them. I love them, love them, love them. All right, so I'm going to put that right there. Now, this stuff is just stuff that, you know, at night, randomly going through Etsy and Instagram and, you know, all that stuff. I did a little shopping a few weeks ago. And I thought, well, you know what? When I get it, I'm just going to make one great big um, video. And let me... Now, this is from Randa's... Little Crafty Corner, or is it Randa's? No, Randa's Crafty Corner. All right, so I have heard a lot about her putties and her waxes, and I just wanted to try them. Um, so this is my invoice, and she's got on here, thank you so much, Scarlett. And, okay, so... What I got from her was one of her waxes and a couple of her putties. But she has got, let's see, she's got a couple candies in here. And then she's got a sticker. Isn't it cute? Alright, and I'm going to say that this is the wax. These are the putties. And then these are just instructions on how... To use her putty and instructions on how to use her wax because you know everything is different 
And look, it says important. Please place wax in the freezer for 30 to 60 minutes before initial use to make sure that it hasn't melted and changed changed consistency in transit. I never would have thought of that. See, that's why you need these instructions. Because I never would have even thought of that. You know what? And that's a good thing to know, too. Because even with the, you know, other places that you get the waxes and stuff from. Oh, look, there's another sticker. But this one is... If y'all can see, I think my, my lighting is not, I, hold on a minute. I think my light is going dead. Mm. Let me, <laughs> let me come around. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. She was about to go dead. All right. Hold on a minute. Let me get this all rearranged. Ugh. Is there a re <coughs> reach over? Uh oh. Somebody's outside yelling. And that was Booger. That big guard dog. Okay. More better, more better, more better. All right. So, this is Harvest Spice. And this is her original wax. Oh my God. That smells so good. But that is, that's nice. I can't wait to try this. That smells awesome. Oh my. I could eat it. All right. So this is the putty. All right. So I got. The sea salt and caramel, and then the hazelnut cream. All right, let me, I gotta smell them. All right, the hazelnut cream is a very light smell, but you can smell the hazelnut in it. It kind of smells like, I used to use hazelnut creamer in my coffee, and that's what it smells like, but it's just real faint. And... Same thing with the sea salt caramel. They're not very strong, so it's not going to give you a headache like some of the, um, that has got a string on it. I thought it was a tag, so that's why I didn't realize that was a sticker. It's because it's attached to a string. All right, so... Yeah, you know how some of these putties and stuff will give you a headache. This is very light. And, yeah, it's that's okay. Alright, so. Let's see. What else do I have, y'all? Alright, so. I know. Let me get a drink. Okay, so I know... If y'all have been on Instagram, I know that y'all have seen this ad on Instagram for this. Um, I was looking at it, and I scrolled through. I have been, I've scrolled through it, I don't know how many times. And then one night I sat in there, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it. I'm just going to get it, and I'm going to try it because it looks cool. And I just wanted it. So, this is called Specs. And it is Magnetic Fidget Putty. Okay? And it's made by Crags or Specs. I don't know. So, it's 500 plus magnetic stress stones. Shiny, smooth, metal tin included. It's like putty without the mess. You can mold it, mash it, fidgety, fun, oddly satisfac satisfying. Okay. All right, let me open this because I am so curious about it. And like I said, I've seen it and I'm like, hmm. You know, that's one of those get you, got you kind of things. And... I don't want to got be 
got and get. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. But, like I said, I was sitting there. And there's a couple more things that I've seen on Instagram. Like their little commercial little things that I want to try. And one of them is an Udi. Or is it hoodie? Udi? Something like that. But it's an oversized hoodie that's kind of like a blanket. Thought about getting one of those. So, alright. Let's look and see. It's in a baggie. Alright. <laughs> and, oh my god, y'all. Oh, this is like so flipping cool. And it's just magnets. But yeah. Oh, I'm glad I got it. And I only give like, I think maybe, I think it was like after... I, they were running some kind of little special and everything, plus first-time buyers and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I think I only give, like, $14 for this. But, yeah, can y'all see this? It's just different shape, teeny, well, they're not teeny tiny, but they're magnets. They're just different but they feel weird. Yeah, I can see myself sitting here playing with this for a long time. I would say keep it out away from children and pets. But, yeah. Okay. So, that was another thing that I got. One of those late night shopping things. Wasn't Amazon, though. Alright, so, this other thing. I know there's going to be a couple of y'all that's going to go crazy for this. Now, I got this on Etsy, and it is from a company called Sea Bear Art, okay? I was doing a Google, or Google, I was doing a search, and she has on here, thank you for your order, Sea Bear. What is that? Oh, and look, she has a little... A little um, bear sticker. Isn't that cute? Alright. So I was on Etsy. And I was doing a, a search for gnomes. Okay. And I come across this. Hold on. Sorry about that. That was the hubby. So anyway. I think what I was saying was. I did a search on Etsy for gnomes. And I come across this company. And this is all the information. They have got a Facebook and the Etsy and Instagram. And I will, like I said, I'll leave all the info in my description box. And so what I got from this company, Sylvia, I hope you're sitting down, darling. All right. I've not looked at these yet. Okay, they have, it's polymer clay, and she does all kinds of different things with polymer clay, and look, look, look at this, oh my god, oh my god, alright, so I have five random gnomes made out of polymer clay and you this was i picked the it, i didn't pick the gnomes i picked she has got a section to where you can get mystery gnomes okay and you can either get five ten twenty fifty or a hundred it just depends on how much you want to spend but the lady that owns this shop's name is um, Sam. And she makes these herself out of polymer clay. And she's got all kinds of them. All kinds, all colors, all different sizes. This is the Mini Mystery Gnomes. And this was their five, the five. And... I give $10 for them and it was free shipping. So, um, but her gnomes go from a mini, which are these 
to small, regular, and a large. And their prices vary. Um, she has got Halloween gnomes. She's got Christmas gnomes. She's got everyday gnomes. She's got weird gnomes. She's got, I mean, the list goes on. And the colors are endless. But look at this one. He's a little pumpkin gnome. Can y'all see this with my big fat fingers? Can you see? Oh my God. Gorgeous. And then this one, he's just got different colors. Look at the little twisty things on their hats and their beards. Oh my God. I will go back and I am going to get more. And then look, this one, he's just all blue. And then this one is, looks like silver, brown, and green. And then this one is pink and purple. I think she asked me what my, what two of my favorite colors were. So, yeah. I love them. I'm definitely going, I might go back right now. I, as soon as I get done with this video, I will probably just go and get me another order of them. But. Yeah, you can get different styles and everything, but I love them, and they just sit up. But I just wanted to show this stuff to y'all. Um, but I just wanted—I just wanted these because I love gnomes, y'all. I do, and like I said, I don't know why I do. I just do. Um, but I wanted them to just sit up here on my desk. Just look at them sitting on my desk. <laughs> so, all right, y'all. That's my little haul and my winnings from Diana. Um, and I think that's all I have for today. Seems like I had something else that I was going to put in with this video, but I don't know what it is. Don't remember what I did with it and if I do have it. So, I don't know. If I come across it, I'll make another video. Um, so, yeah, y'all. Please leave me some comments in my comment section. Um, let me know what y'all think. And like I said, I'll leave a descriptor, a link to all of these things and uh, Diana's YouTube channel. I'll leave a link to that in my description box. And y'all, I hope you enjoyed this little mini haul video of just everything <laughs> all right y'all i hope everybody is doing well and thank you to all my subscribers and please go check out my etsy shop just mind your business i always put a um if you check out check it out on the first of the month i always put a um sale it might be 10 percent off it might be 15 percent off heck it could be 25 percent off it just whatever's strikes my fancy so all right y'all i hope everyone's had a good day and until my next video i will see you later bye y'all